Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer. It's a treehouse beer, and it's another stout. Um, I, I said this in another video. Uh, a lot of people, you know, all they care about is the hops from Treehouse, but their stout game is on point. Uh, this is single shot with vanilla bean. I have, uh, and it's 6.4% ABV. I have not had um, this variant. I've had um, a few of the single shots with like different coffees in it. Um, I've had some double shots. I had double shot with vanilla. I had double shot with um, that um, like astronaut ice cream, space ice cream, they call it. That had you know the vanilla flavor. I remember liking that one better than the vanilla bean double shot. But anyway, yeah, really excited to uh, try this. It's just over a week old, so that coffee should be nice and fresh. That vanilla should be nice and fresh. So yeah, really excited. I, mean, I guess I alluded to it, but you know, it's a coffee stout. Um, Coffee milk style, sorry, specifically. Like I said, 6.4, yeah, 6.4% ABV. And uh, yeah, cool can art. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty black. There's there's a decent amount of brown in there. The head, about a finger and a half is foamy, small bubble, like tiny bubbles, and then some small bubbles uh, is starting to break up. And uh, it's like a mocha colored head, which is appropriate. But yeah, good looking beer. Let's get into the aroma. So yeah, I, not surprising. Uh, coffee roast is the main thing that's coming through. Um, you get that stout roast as well, but it definitely has a coffee roast. And it does not smell like cold brew. Like it doesn't smell like, I think, uh, well... Like the Trillium, you know, PM Dawn, for example, right? That has cold brew in it. I don't know if this has cold brew, but it's coming across more like um, uh, like regular hot coffee you make in a machine. It has more of that vibe than than the um, the smoothness of a cold brew. Some milk chocolate in there, so not surprising that the uh, milk sugar that's in there is working with the roast and, and creating this like milk chocolate. Um, Somewhat chocolatey milk kind of a thing too, like chocolate milk, I should say. And just a kiss of vanilla. Um, that's the last thing I'm picking up on. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Okay, so <clears throat> shocker, really good coffee beer. Like I was saying about the aroma, it does not come through like cold brew. I really doubt it's cold brew. My guess is they uh, push the beer through coffee beans. Uh, that's more the, the taste I'm getting, more like a, um, yeah, again, like a traditional coffee machine or, or even like a French press. Um, that milk sugar, because with lactose, I get a decent amount of vanilla. Um, so that is working with the addition of the vanilla. Definitely not a vanilla bomb. I kind of thought actually it was going to have more of a vanilla kick to it. And again, it's definitely there. I'd pick up a little bit of it. I'm sure even if there was not addition of vanilla beans, again, because of the lactose and that vanilla, uh, that sweetness that that provides. Good cream mouthfeel, actually given the ABV. Um, drinks a little higher than its ABV, which is nice. Uh, not in an alcohol way, just in a fullness way. And I think the lactose is probably a big part of that. A lot of chocolate, which is, which is awesome. It's a mix. Okay, so you get that milk chocolate for sure. It's kind of like, like coffee mixed with some uh, chocolate milk. But then there's this pronounced dark chocolate, roasty quality as well, working again with the actual uh, coffee that's in there, but also the actual malts that are in there. So it has like three levels, three layers of coffee. I'm sorry, chocolate. Um, and that coffee, it just works so well as I'm talking. It, it, it's like if I ate a very not sweet um, a piece of like chocolate cake or something. Yeah, it's really nice. Little bit of a berry note in there as well. Picking that up more in stouts lately. I don't know if it's just my palate's picking it up more, if my palate's changing. But I definitely get a little bit like that. Almost like a blueberry in there mixed in. But yeah, shocker, another delicious stout from these guys. 
Um, yeah, a little bit more vanilla would be cool for me. Like, I just, I, I was going in thinking it was going to have a lot more vanilla. I remember those double shot vanilla variants I was talking about before had a lot of vanilla compared to what I'm getting out of this. Uh, it says to drink cold. I got out of my regular refrigerator probably 15 minutes ago. So I'd probably let this sit out a little longer than 15 minutes, let it warm up. Uh, if I get any different notes as it's warming up as I'm drinking it off camera, I'll put it in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check my Instagram untapped. No hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.